right, my boys, we got a brand new card. I've been calling it Taya, the primal being, but I've been seeing people call it Thea. So I'm not sure if whatever the proper pronunciation is, but I'm gonna just say Taya. So Taya, the primal being is a really good card. This card is a TCG exclusive coming out in the 10 mirror 10, whatever the 2024 tens that are coming out in a couple of days. I plan on getting those tens, so you know, lock in, hit the subscribe button to check out um, some unboxing of those tens. I'm going to be looking for this card and also um, the uh, SP Little Knight, so uh, and also Bonfire. So check it out, my boy. It's going to be pretty interesting. But you know, we're here to talk about Taya. So pretty much, this card is an amazing hand trap. Um, I'm just going to read it out to you, then I'm going to tell you what I think it's about. So during the main phase, quick effect, you can tribute monsters whose levels equal, sorry, whose total levels equal 11 or more. Special summon this card from the hand, and if you control no other monsters, you can destroy one monster on the field with the highest attack on the field. You can only use the effect of Taya once per turn. Um, neither player uh, can normal summon or special summon uh, four or more monsters after while this card's face up on the field. So it's another Nibiru-like hand trap. It fits within the Pantheon. It is the primal being. Th what I see from this, you know, just from lore rise, clearly it's, it is the primal beast token. Like the primal beast token, you can see in the token that there's a monster in the midst of the rubble. Like this is the close up of that monster. So basically from my understanding of how this effect works is pretty simple because the effect allows you to, um, destroy the monster with the highest attack and also tribute monsters this is from how this is kind of how i see it so so we already know nibiru will summon itself and, and tribute the monsters and, and put itself on the field but then also you're gonna get a, a token on your opponent's side of the field and that token is gonna be really really big i think the reason why the effect is phrased this way it's because primarily Nibiru will tell you to stop your play. Then, after Nibiru tells you to stop your play, converts all your opponent's cards into um, a, a primal token. Then, what happens is your opponent continues to play as I do with my Gladiator Beast. And if your opponent continues to play, you can say, nah, stop for real, and summon the actual primal being tributing the Nibiru that's on your side of the field and destroying um, the Primal Being token when you summon this card. And when you summon this card, you can't summon past the fourth summon. So primarily what this says is stop, nah, stop for real. Like basically that's it. And then you choose the Primal token as a target. So this is one of those new interesting cards that came out thought I would bring it to your attention. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this card. Am I using it correctly? Is my thoughts correctly on this? Or am I a little off base? Let me know in the comments. And as always, keep it dang.